Hello everyone, my name is Alejandra Landano and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, you find lots of different videos about online teaching. And in today's video, I thought I would actually share with you my online teaching journey. So I have been an online teacher for the last three years and I just wanted to share in some detail what it was like when I first started teaching online, where I am now, and possibly where I hope to be in the near future. I am hoping I'm able to encourage at least one person who watches this video who may be struggling starting to teach online or who actually wants to begin teaching online fully. But let's go ahead and begin discussing my journey. Now, in January of 2018, I was a brick and mortar classroom teacher. At the time, I was teaching kindergarten and I really did love it, but I had the goal to one day be able to work from home and teach online. Then in January of 2018, I actually decided to do a little bit of research of iTutor Group and VIP Kit. And those are the two companies I first heard about. One of my friends got an email about VIP Kid, and then another friend of mine, her daughter actually worked for iTutor Group. So I was like, okay, like I might as well like give it a shot. I have nothing to lose. So I applied to both of those companies in January of 2018 and I got hired. Now at that time, obviously I am a full-time teacher and then doing these side hustle, these side jobs. So I didn't have tons of time to invest in them, but I was able to at least give them a go and see if it was something I was interested in. And then of course, bring in some extra money. So for iTutor Group, there was a minimum of, I believe it was 10 classes per week. So I used to teach for iTutor Groups in the morning before I went to school, either two to three classes. And then for VIP Kid, I used to teach on the weekends, like Saturday or Sunday. And again, I wouldn't teach a lot of classes. It was just a few here and there. Now, over those next few months, February, March, April, I noticed that I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. It was something fresh and different. And in the back of my head, I started thinking like, could I actually do this full time and leave the brick and mortar classroom for a year? So what I decided to do was during summer of 2018, when there was no school, so I was not teaching, I tried to go full in with VIP Kid and I tutor group. Now I was not teaching full-time hours. I was probably teaching 20 to 30 hours a week. It just really depended on bookings, but I wanted to see if I could make a good amount of income to at least pay for my basic bills. And during those months, during the summer, I was able to reach that goal. So then towards the end of July, I decided I'm going to take one full year off from the classroom and try online teaching only. So I resigned. Um, I mean, technically I became a substitute for my district so that if I ever wanted to go back, it was an easy transition. Um, but I left the classroom and decided to do online teaching for one year. That was my goal. And there was a few reasons why I wanted to. One of them was that I wanted to travel a little bit. So after summer in September, I took some time off. I got to travel. I traveled in Europe. It was a lot of fun. It was definitely worth my savings and leaving that brick and mortar job. And then when I came back, I started to build up my schedule in October, November, and then December. December is when I really started to see a big increase, especially with my bookings for VIP kit. So for iTutor group, I always had bookings. Since that company books the classes for you, they were my backup company. If my VIP kid classes didn't book, I would open up slots with iTutor group. Um, and it was a, an amazing backup because in the beginning of my VIP kid journey, I didn't get, I wasn't fully booked. I didn't get tons of bookings. So I needed that second source of income. Like I was saying though, during the winter break, so during December, I actually went to visit my parents and I didn't have much to do there. So I opened up lots of early morning slots with VIP Kid. And that is when I started to see a huge increase in bookings with my VIP Kid classes. And since VIP Kid paid more than iTutor Group, I decided to invest more time in VIP Kid and continue to build up those bookings and everything. So then by the end of that year, I would say I was roughly teaching 40 to 60 VIP 
VIP kid classes each week. And then I was teaching 10 to 20 I tutor group classes each week. And I was meeting my financial goal, which was between 1500 to 2000. So that's roughly what I tried to make during that time. Now in 2019, like I mentioned, January, February, March, I was slowly building up my schedule, but I was also traveling a little bit. So I would teach slowly building up regulars, but then I'd take like a week off and then I'd teach and I'd have another break. So I wasn't getting as many consistent things sometimes as I would like, but I was still reaching my financial goals, thankfully. Now, after I took a break from traveling, I decided to try overnights with the VIP kid. So what I would do is I would sleep a lot Friday during the day, and then I would work Friday night into Saturday morning. And that would be about 20 something classes. So I would have a good chunk of my income for the month in that one day. And in the beginning, obviously they were not all booked, but I was slowly able to build those bookings. So I was really excited when I saw that. And then when I started doing that, I was able to teach more classes back to back. So I started to teach less days and do longer blocks. So usually I would teach about 10 to 12 classes per day for four to six days, depending on my financial goals again. Now, I basically did this all year. From like March till the end of the year, this is basically what I did. As I was fully booked with VIP Kid, I did push I tutor group to the side. I believe I still have a contract with them right now, but I do not teach with them at all. I haven't taught with them, um, I think for almost two years. So not with I tutor group anymore. And the main reason I decided to leave was I just made more with VIP kid and I had better connections with my VIP kid students. And I also just like the VIP kid platform better, but that is not to say that I tutor group was not good because I think they really helped me in the beginning find success with online teaching. Now towards the end of that year, I did start to work for a company called Butterfly where you created videos for students wanting to learn English. Um, but the company didn't last very long. Right when the pandemic came, it kind of, I, I don't even know what happened to the company, honestly. I was really excited about that opportunity, but it kind of fell away. So that was just extra income that I slowly got to get or got to make until, like I said, it kind of drifted away. Then in January or February of 2020, I followed Nancy Taylor on YouTube and Instagram, and she was talking about some course she had just created. And the course was very intriguing to me. It was talking about how she built her referral business and all of these other things to just help her make some money online. And I thought, you know, that would be just kind of cool to start making YouTube videos or helping other people get hired for the companies, you know, that I actually like to teach with. So I did decide to invest some money in that course and I was super, super excited that I was able to do so. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't even be recording this video here because I never thought never thought I would be posting videos on YouTube ever. So that course definitely is what led me into that. And that course really just helped me look at online teaching in a different perspective. While I was taking that course, the pandemic had come. So in March, everything closed down. So I was focusing on that course, but I was also teaching a ton of classes with VIP Kid. I mean, I honestly and truthfully loved teaching lots and lots of classes. Yes, it can make you tired, but I was teaching a good amount of classes with VIP Kid, basically full time. During the pandemic, I was teaching about 50 to 80 plus classes, depending on what was booking. And at that time, basically everything was booking. So I had a ton of bookings. Really quick, I'm looking at my notes here. In April of 2020, I had my highest income with VIP Kid. Just for teaching, I made $3,240. So that was just really cool for me to see that I was able to make that much. That is more than I was making as a brick and mortar teacher in the state I live in. And I just was, I was amazed at how how I, how far I'd come in just a little bit of time. Now, as I mentioned, I continued taking that course. So I was reviewing the material and going through all the modules. 
and teaching full time. And the good thing about when you teach for VIP Kid at that time was that I was finishing at 8 or 9 a.m. So I still had a lot of the day to work on other things. So that's when I decided to, okay, let's go ahead and start a YouTube channel. So I did start my channel. When I look back sometimes, some of my videos, I mean, I think this is for any YouTube person that starts in the beginning, but some of my videos are not my favorite to watch. Um, and still, I feel like I am constantly improving on camera. You learn as you go through the process, but I started making YouTube videos and I definitely love doing that. I also then heard about the company called OutSchool. And I think I heard about it in April, May, I can't remember exactly, but I didn't apply until the end of May because I was kind of hesitant about it. But I did apply and then I started teaching in June. And at that time, I was taking it slow. Keep in mind, during this time, um, OutSchool saw a huge influx of students. Therefore, they were hiring tons and tons of teachers. So when I first started, I was getting a pretty steady amount of students enrolling in my class. But since I had no idea where OutSchool would be in the future, I was teaching a lot with VIP Kid and just a little bit with OutSchool. And every month, what I would do, I would slowly decrease my VIP Kid hours and I would slowly increase my out school hours just because I had put so much energy into VIP kid if out school didn't work for me I didn't want to lose all that work I did put into it but I also noticed that I was really enjoying my out school classes and I was making more money in a less time so there were I was trying to juggle both and it worked out well since I had been with VIP kid for such a long time already so I kind of continued that process. I would slowly decrease my VIP kid hours and just slowly increase my out school hours. So generally my goal was to make about a thousand dollars with VIP kid teaching and then to make 1500 with out school teaching. So at the end of the month, I would have 2,500. That was my goal for those two companies. And most of the time I was able to reach my goal. Now at the end of 2020, I also decided to add GoGo Kid. And I'm going to be honest with you, the only reason I decided to, well, I guess there's really two reasons why I decided to apply to GoGo Kid. Number one reason was because of that $300 incentive. I was like, I might as well just do the application process, teach a few classes, and I get an extra $300. That was probably my main motivation. And then the second one was I wasn't 100% sure if my iTutor group um, contract was still active. I decided, you know what, Google Kid will be my backup ESL company because I, I personally know from my journey that I liked having two ESL companies as an online teacher. I really wouldn't teach for GoGo Kid unless something happened with my VIP Kid contract. It was really just there as a backup and then maybe if I wanted some extra classes in the evening and I just wanted to switch things up a little bit. Now we're on to this year, which is 2021. And during this year is really when I started to decrease my hours a lot with VIP Kid. I decided really to just accept priority bookings and only teach students I had taught for a long time or I really, really enjoyed teaching because I was just making way more without school and I thought I wanna teach VIP Kid just for the fun of it and because I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about where I am now. It is June of 2021 and honestly, most most of my income still comes from online teaching. I post lots of videos on this channel and I'm always talking about OutSchool and VIP Kid and that's where most of my money comes from. Now I am slowly adding more avenues of income. The one I'm working on right now is affiliate links. So I share affiliate links with you guys here on YouTube. I sometimes share them to those on my email list or different people that I have on Instagram. But basically an affiliate link is usually in my description box. And if you use my link to apply for a company or to make some sort of purchase, I receive 
some sort of commission from that link. Now, that is something I actually learned in the BTO course, and I think it's a great way to start to diversify your income if you're wanting to do that, and if you, for example, wanna have a YouTube channel. If you like creating YouTube videos to help other teachers, why not have some affiliate links in your description box? It does not mean, of course, that you have to be salesy, but I don't know. I think it's a lot of fun making videos and just building connections with other teachers. But those are my two main sources of income. Teaching will always be probably my largest source of income as well as affiliate links. Now, thinking down in the future, I have thought about starting to coach others. Like I do consultations, but I haven't started coaching, meaning I stick with a client or a teacher for weeks on end. I don't know, if that would be something you'd be interested in me creating, let me know. I have also thought about creating um, a TPT store. So a Teachers Pay Teachers store. I'm still honestly and truthfully debating about that one as well. Haven't really decided, but yeah, that's where I am. That is my journey so far. It is crazy to think that I have almost been fully online for three years and I'm going on about three and a half years of just teaching online. But as you can see in this video, I really like to take it slow. I don't like to, I don't like to rush and feel like I have to do everything right away, really, really fast, make as much money as I can super fast. But I like to see, enjoy my journey, enjoy my students, enjoy the different companies I work for, and just see if it's something I will enjoy in the long run. And I think that's why I haven't like tried creating a co coaching pack or jumped into TPT resources or even like making a course because I just like to take things nice and slow. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, the point of this video was to just share with you my journey and maybe there's a few of you that resonate with me and you can just see that it is possible to teach and work online fully if that is a goal you have for the future. Now, as I said, I live in Florida and Florida teachers are definitely one of the lower paying states. Um, but last year I made almost the same, if not a little bit more teaching online than I did as a classroom teacher, which is mind blowing to me that I work way less. I'm able to create my own schedule and I just really enjoy, like I do not get burned out as easily as you would in a brick and mortar classroom. So very, very grateful for where my journey has brought me to today. Now, if you ever have questions about like online teaching, VIP kid, out school, you're more than welcome to leave them here in this video in the comments down below. You are also more than welcome to send me an email or DM me on Instagram, whatever avenue of communication you prefer. I'm totally fine with that. But I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, do not forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the future content I release. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.